The right wing has been formulating this stuff for decades. They have a structure of leadership that's been incredibly effective. Yeah. And there isn't an analog on the left. No. I, I look at what you did and what you were saying in the wake of the Dobbs decision. You were out there saying, where is the Democratic Party? Where's the party? Why aren't we standing up more firmly, more resolutely? Why aren't we calling this out? How lacking are we at the national level in the Democratic Party? I mean, there's no doubt states are on the front lines of the rights battles, period, full stop. And the Supreme Court now has made that crystal clear. We've honed ourselves and focused our energies uh, perhaps more distinctively in that respect. But we have a messaging problem. I really believe it. And you can argue, all right, what are we doing on comprehensive immigration reform? What are we doing on a number of other issues? I'm not going to deny the substantive challenges our party has as well, addressing those tough and vexing issues. It's not just a messaging problem, but a messaging problem that has persisted with our party for years and years, constantly on the defense. We allow these culture wars to take shape, and we consistently are on the back end of them. Eight of the top 10 states with the highest murder rates, all are Republican states. How do Democrats not know that? In fact, it's really nine out of 10. Georgia went for Biden, but it's really a Republican state, or at least a red state. Eight out of 10. And we're losing that message? Crime is higher, as well as taxes here for the average uh, citizen in Texas. It's higher crime, higher violent crime and poverty crimes than in the state of California. 67% higher gun death rate in Texas. Why don't we push back? Why are we why on the don't, why, why, why don't we I do don't know. In terms of my current point of view, I'm optimistic about our ability to turn this around if we go on the offense. That's why I'm doing the billboards. That's why I'm doing these ads. That's why I'm doing these TV commercials in other states. Take it to them and take it to that damn social media network, whatever that thing's called, True Social, which, by the way, I can't imagine it's going to be around in one or two more years. <laughs> have you seen a difference since you've started doing this? Since yeah. You, what, what, how, have you, how, have you, how is it impacting I just think, anything? I think we've stretched the debate a little bit. I mean, they're like, oh, look at over there. Hey, well, I'm not that. But now people are leaning. I'm, I'm talking to other governors. And um, some of my friends, some are becoming closer friends, saying, I wish I could do that. I really like that you did that. Or, oh, I what are they worried about? Uh, you know, I'm in the middle of election. I got my own issues. I mean, that issue is not. You're in the middle of election. 73. I get it. It's different. You know, there's different politics for me. But increasingly, or, boy, let me just get through November. I really want to talk to you in the transition. Let's go. I mean, I cannot, by the way, on my mother and dad's grace, I cannot tell you the number of elected officials in powerful positions, soon to be, of influence that are ready to go. I think. I think we're in, we're entering a different, and I, you've seen it with with Biden. He's moving. Well, he's been willing to yeah. iterate. He's willing. He's you know he's done on the policy, but now he recognizes they've always recognized, but now they're leaning in on the narrative.